this is the Cabal DL2DH. It is a DL2 with two heads. It has uh, identical controls on both heads. This is the steel cutting head. It has what's called a single skin cut, which when that's activated, when it goes down, it will only cut the top skin on the door. Raise it back up, put the cutter down, and it cuts both skins at one time. This is used for cutting heavy gauge doors one skin at a time, or to cut uh, doors for a uh, single sided lock. The other feature here is the reciprocation. When this is activated and the head goes down, it will oscillate up and down. This extends the life of the dead and makes a better cut. The other controls on, on this head for the right hand and thumb operated are the locks. When, when both of the switches are down, the Y direction or cross cut is open and the X direction does not move. When both are flipped up, the Y will not move, but it will travel in the X direction. This lets the operator cut straight lines without any effort, without a template. Also on the head is a collar bar that lets the head travel back and forth and, and the stop positions the cut for the, from the edge of the door. The, these collars up front are set so that the furthest towards the edge for a three foot door, for a 210 door, for a 28 door, and for a 26 door if it's a 20 inch collar spacing. The, the way the collars are set up and the thickness of the template bar is the inside dimension of the collars will be the actual size of the cutout. The other control on this head is the look for the x-axis stop, lowers the stop to, to run it against the stop. This covers the x-axis travel. So this stop and the collar bar, a perfect rectangular hole can be cut without the use of any template. On the front of the machine, there are controls that are very straightforward. There's an open, a closed, and a clamp. The clamp button is once the machine is adjusted to the size of the door, a momentary push raises it in, and then it raises up with cylinders to hold the door tight against the template plate. Then when the cut is completed, pushing the open button momentarily unclamps it so the door can be fed out. The, the other controls on this are for the, 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 the lock edge preparation. Pushing the switch to the right brings the router in. Then there's a joystick that's up. To the left is over. Down. Back to the right. And up. that cuts a one by two and a quarter inch cut out. And releasing the button swings the router back. And the, the drill prep is turn the switch to the top position. It swings in. Then next swings it down. And then the one that pushed to the, the switch pushed to the right for the router, pushed to the left, plunges the drill. The drill has enough travel to drill for the lock deadbolt bus all the way through the back of the bore for the long throw deadbolt. Releasing the switch, raising that up to the position, and then retracts that out of the way. The, on this machine, there is a second head. The controls are identical to the controls on the metal cutting head. In terms of the, the template bar, the x-axis stop, this has a head, it has a mist oil lubrication system for the bearings, it uses a different bit, and the pulleys are set for a high RPM for cutting fiberglass doors. The high RPM extends the life of the bit and provides a good clean cut in, in the doors and also a clean cut for the, for the lock holes. This bar here is set up for a 22 inch wide cutout. 
it has a collar for the back side of the lock side of the door, a collar for the mid side. Here is a template bar that is set up for cutting as an example two eight by 36 cutouts. Here is the hinge side, the, the first leg of the cut, and then it skipped over this to this collar, the beginning of the eight inch cut, and to the lock side of the door. The time required to install this is simply put this in. Again, the outside collar, three foot dimension. This the tip of the bar is turned down. And this would do the cross cut to the full width. The head is retracted. The bar is raised up. The tip of the bar is put down. Got it started. Brought over, and the cut is finished, and then it's retracted. The, the, the DL2 comes with all the different collar bars. Here they've written on their, the holder the different designs so that the operator can pick the select design needed with uh, very little effort, and they're directly behind the operator so no. Uh, travel time is required to retrieve the bar or the screw the bar in the machine.